All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time for a review of a cool knife. So say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powdered Toast Man and Log and TV, and let's get started. Wow. Um, this is a knife from very cool, very loyal, very awesome, very kind and supportive viewer, Andrew Hobbert. Andrew, appreciate you for sending this one along, brother, and let's check it out. This is only probably the third off-grid uh, knife to be shown on the channel. This is the Off-Grid Enforcer. Now, these are currently available, and I'm going to tell you about it, on Amazon is where I found this particular one. This is the Off-Grid Enforcer in 154CM, and this Red Dawn checkered or diamond-shaped G10 scale. So you got the red and black uh, from, you know, like the movie Red Dawn. Uh, very, very cool. 154 CM blade steel, uh, high flat grind. You do have a nice, uh, flat area up here and, uh, kind of this worn cliff, but with a really cool belly, uh, and a nice tip. Uh, it almost has a sheep's footy thing going on too. So hard to say these days, but, uh, really, really cool. Now, extremely grippy guys if you want a grippy handle this is the one for you now it is very you can see very textured g10 uh and you do have a really nice clip here bent over deep carry all the way to the end of the knife you do have uh there's flat scales but they're chamfered off on the edges and what i like is they they stop the texturing so that it's not on uh, the, the top and the bottom of the scale. So that's really, really cool. You do have full black sandwich liners and you have what looks like maybe either a steel or a titanium backspacer. I am not sure. Can't find a lot of details. This is on Amazon is where I'm finding it. So it's kind of been a little difficult to find, um, some good details on this particular one. You do have the off grid logo there, man. I cannot get it to focus. There you go. And D2 here for the steel. You do have really good jimping up really far, which is cool. Nowhere to choke up, but it is very much a four finger knife here. As you can see, uh, it is a reversible clip with uh, flat screws. Uh, I hadn't had any problem getting this one in and out of the pocket, except uh, you do have that checkering underneath the clip. And so what happens is it does feel like it's sort of cheese gratering your pants coming in and out. So after a period of time, I think that might be an issue. Uh, it's not terrible, but it's definitely there. Now this grip is really good. Like I said, extremely positive. Um, you do feel the clip and you do feel kind of the edges here in your hand because it's a little thick. Where I'm feeling it the most is right here. Um, but again, if you're not bearing down very badly, it's not going to be a problem. This is good, and you have nice rounded off chamfered uh, edges on the blade, so it feels really good. And, and like I said, if it you know if it wasn't for that being, I just wish it was rolled off just a little bit more right through here. That's the only thing. In hand, it feels really good. Now this thing is a cutter. Um, it, it just slices through cardboard. Look at that. I mean, it's like effortless and this is this one is d2 like i said um i've seen the the black version of it the blackout version in um 154 but this one is d2 now this is the red dawn edition so let's talk about that one on amazon so it is currently available on amazon for 147 dollars uh it is oh this sorry this this is the price for the 154 CM blade. I do not see the D2 one like this available. Hmm. So the black, um, blackout D2 one, uh, is $57. And then there's a blackout 154 CM one that's $84. And then I see a 154 CM version of this red Dawn one for 147. Very interesting. Um, so guys, I can't, when I'm on Amazon, I have trouble finding specs. So we're just going to do this the old fashioned way. Uh, we're going to lay out Mr. Ruler here and try to tell you now the blade, the cutting edge is right at three inches. The blade itself is three and a quarter. The overall length of the knife is seven and a half, uh, which will make that handle 
four and a quarter. Uh, very, very cool on that. Um, now, as far as your um, kind of comparisons, here is the Ontario Rat 1. Quite a bit larger, and we'll make a sandwich here of the Enforcer. Uh, and you know what? It's just a little bit bigger than the Rat 2. Let's push that back just a little bit. A little bit bigger than the Rat 2. All right, let's see on uh, weight here, because again, can't find that on our friend Amazon either. 4.41 ounces. Yeah, I know you can't see it, but here, we'll slide it over so you can see it right here in the corner. 4.41 ounces. Very, very cool. Um, and again, there is your woo, sandwich once again. It, it is a, um, let's just do this. It is a thicker, a little, no, nah, it's about the same as the rat one, I would say. Maybe just slightly thicker. It's definitely going to be thicker than the rat two for sure. Uh, that's that. So, uh, but overall, again, I wouldn't call it a super thick knife. It's just kind of squared off. Um, and that's really my only, and again, I don't, I don't really count it as an issue because it still feels pretty good until you're bearing down. Uh, not a problem on that. Now, my biggest complaint, even though you have kind of a chamfer in the scale here, the access to the lock bar is basically nothing. It is flat across. Now, they have done a good job of cutting out uh, the lock bar um, relief there. So it's easy to push over, but you do have to sandwich your thumb uh, in there. Uh, the lockup on this one is about a 20 to 25. Uh, action wise, you can see a little shake gets her done. Uh, it's, it's flipper only. The flipper tab is great. No jimping, but no problem. Just an easy little, let's see, does this, yeah, I mean the D10 holds well, but it's literally just a little, little tiny flick and this guy is going. So, uh, you can see it drops to my thumb and then just a little shake gets it home dead centered protected the tip is protected by the back spacer really well done nice very very locked up not going anywhere so there is your off-grid enforcer guys this is a really cool uh budget knife now again i'm not sure the only one i'm finding in this is in the higher end steel and it's 147 but you can get a blacked out version of this in d2 uh for what did i say 50 Oh, come on. How much was it? 57. Uh, so really, really cool. Uh, very interesting knife. And the blade shape is great for getting down inside things. Uh, and again, you saw it is a cardboard annihilator. Four finger knife. So that is really, really good for me. And just you're just locked in. I'm telling you, that is... I can't even make a noise because it's just so textured uh really really cool so there is the off-grid enforcer andrew thank you so much my friend for sending that one along really really dig it and uh very thankful for getting the chance to check it out so guys give me a thumbs up let me know what you think of this one down in the comments is it one that interests you uh and uh again thank you for all your support for watching this review and for watching the knives fast channel.